So you got these characters. You got the Duck Antles, the, the, the Joe Exotics, the Carol Baskins, the Mario Tabros, and they're all just telling us that they are animal experts because they want to have tigers in their backyards. And I just don't, I don't find that any of these people are qualified to own tigers. A lot of these like animal experts and diet experts, pretty much experts across the board, go on question. And the only time that we question these people is when something weird happens or they die of the thing that they are the expert of. Right. Remember the crocodile hunter? He got he was just like walking up to crocodiles, grabbing them by the tail and like mocking them and doing a whole show. Then he got harpooned in the chest by a manta ray. And we were like, yeah, man, it's probably not like the way to behave is to just go up to crocodiles. Grizzly Man was a guy who was supposedly a bear expert. It doesn't take a genius to watch that and then go, this guy is not an expert. You don't pretend that you're a bear around bears. Bears are not fooled by that. Like no animal expert is pretending to be the animal. They might be using animal behavior to mimic that power dynamic and that alpha uh, dominant submissive scenario. When you have a dog, you want to do those things. You want to make sure that you are the pack leader for your dog, but you don't pretend that you're a dog. You don't walk around on all, you don't eat in a bowl next to your dog. So I just think it's really interesting that we think these people are experts for a long period of time because we just have never seen anything like this. And then they get eaten and we go, that guy's not an expert. Look at the Atkins guy. We were all like all about this guy. Then all of a sudden this guy has like a massive coronary. We're like, hold on a second. Maybe this is not the way to eat. Everybody's just like one axe one death away from being called completely into question. The dog whisperer is going to get mauled and eaten by a Rottweiler, and we're just going to go, look, obviously you can't just walk up to an 85-pound Rottweiler and poke him in the side and make a tss -tss sound, and that's going to go good. You just have to say big things, repeat it a bunch of times, and then say, believe me, at the end, and then we kind of just will. And they're all just telling us that they are animal experts because they want to have tigers in their backyards. And I just don't, I don't find that any of these people are qualified to own tigers.